Welcome to the Algebraic Expressions video. My name is Don Sevcik, founder of Math Celebrity, and today I'm going to show you how to build and recognize algebraic expressions. So with that said, let's go get it. So for algebraic expressions, let's look at the definition. It's a math expression built from numbers or constants, variables, and operational phrases. And I'll get to those in just a moment. But first, a variable, if you're not familiar, is a letter used to describe a number. And an example of a common variable in math is x. Now let's look at some example algebraic expressions, and then I'll show you how we build these. x plus 2, 3 times y minus 8, the quotient of x and 5, 5 plus a number, 5 plus twice a number. Now let's look at these five algebraic expressions and take a look at what they all have in common. First, there's a variable. So in the first one, it's x. Second one, it's y. Third one, it's x. But look at the fourth and the fifth algebraic expression. What's the variable? When they say a number, it means an arbitrary variable. Basically, that means you choose what variable you want to use. And I'll get to how you choose and how you recognize that in just a moment. And finally, we've got numbers, constants. Sometimes they're written out, as in the first few, there's 2, 3, and 8. But look at the last one. 5 is written as a word, not a number. And so when you, when you build the final algebraic expression, you always want to translate the words to numbers. Next, let's look at the variables. Now, as we talked about on the prior slide, there's explicit variables. So that, that means the variables stated in the expression. So x plus 2 are variables x. 3 times y minus 8, the variable is y. But in those last two examples on the previous slide, the variable is not stated, and that's called an arbitrary variable. When you have an arbitrary variable, algebraic expression, such as a number plus 2, the variable can be anything. Now, I usually use x because x is very popular inside schools and, and with math students, but you can choose any variable you feel comfortable with. So x, y, w, a, it's up to you. And then here's another example of an arbitrary variable. So 3 times an unknown number minus 8. Well, an unknown number is the definition of a variable. So once again, your variable can be anything you choose. As an example, y. Next, for algebraic expressions, and this is one of the keys to solving these problems faster and understanding them, you need to pick up the operational phrases. So in every algebraic exp expression, there's at least one operational phrase. Operations include addition, subtraction, multiplication, division, exponents, and we'll get to a few others as well. Let's start with addition phrases. So the most common addition phrases you'll see in algebraic expressions are as follows. Plus, added to, increased by, and... And finally, the sum of. Sometimes they even say the total of. So I listed a grid here for you to get from a phrase to an algebraic expression using, using an example. And so whenever you see these phrases in an algebraic expression, the easiest, fastest way is to replace them with a plus sign. So let's look at the first one, 6 plus 3. All we do for an algebraic expression is translate the words for the numbers into the digits and then we replace the operation word into the sign. So plus gets translated into the plus sign and then the second one added to gets translated into the plus sign. So as you can see the key to operational phrases is translating the phrase, the operational phrase, into the appropriate sign. With that being said, let's look at subtraction. Here's the subtraction phrases that you, you'll spot quickly for translation. So we've got minus, reduced by, decreased by, 
diminished by, and the difference of. I've used the exact same examples as I did on the addition slide. The only thing I changed was the operational phrase, in this case, subtraction. All we do is we take the operational phrase and substitute it with the appropriate sign. Next, let's move on to multiplication. Here's the three most common multiplication phrases in algebraic expressions. Times, multiplied by, and the product of. Whenever you see that, you know that you have a multiplication operation in your algebraic expression. So whenever we, now notice the difference between multiplying two numbers, we use six, the time symbol, and three. But look at the second and third rows. When we multiply a constant by a variable, we just stick them together. There's no, there's no star sign, there's no multiplication sign. We write it as constant variable. And so that's a quick shortcut for you when you're building these. Now let's move on to division operational phrases. And the three most common division phrases in algebraic expressions are over, divided by, and the quotient of. And once again, we're building a quotient. And the way this works is if you have a quotient, you want the numerator first, the operational phrase, then the denominator. So let's look at the first one, 6 over 3. 6 comes before the operational phrase, so that's the numerator. And 3 comes after, the, so that's the denominator. The same goes when you use variables. So notice x divided by 5. x comes first, that's the numerator. Divided by gets translated into a division sign. And then 5 goes on the bottom, also called your, numer or your denominator. Next we have equality operators. So in the prior examples I showed you, we just had an algebraic expression. It didn't, it was not set equal to anything. Sometimes in algebraic expressions, you'll be building equations or inequalities. For this video, we're going to cover equations. Here are the most common phrases that will tip you off to your algebraic expression turning into an equation. We've got is, is equal to, equals, is the same as. Whenever you see those four phrases in an algebraic expression, you know you have an equation. And what you do is you substitute those phrases with the equal sign. Let's look at the first one. x plus 3 is 10. Well, in the prior slides, we know x plus 3 is, we use the plus sign. That's an addition operator. But then the end of this algebraic expression tells us is 10, which means we set that entire expression equal to 10. Is equal to, once again, y minus 7 is equal to 20. We translate the algebraic expression, and we know is equal to is setting it into the equal sign, which means an equation. And if you look at the last two, we're doing the exact same thing. Equals is the same as. That denotes an equation. So always use the equal sign for those phrases. And the opposite of equality is non-equality. And here's the two most common non-equality operator phrases. Is not and is not equal to. So all you do, you'll approach this the exact same way you would an equation, but instead of the equal sign, you're doing the equal sign with a slash through it, telling you that no, x plus 3 is not equal to 10, and no, y minus 7 is not equal to 20. And actually, if we go back to this slide, sometimes you'll see not equals and is not the same as. So I listed the two most common, but really what you could do is just add a not or a negation word to the equality statements, and that will get you the non-equality operators. Next is coefficient multipliers. Sometimes in algebraic expressions, and I think we had one on the earlier slides, they're going to use a word for a multiplier. So most of the time, if you're multiplying, say, by 2, they're going to say 2 times x or 2 multiplied by x, but not always. Sometimes they use coefficient multiplier words. And here's the most common multiplier phrases. Twice, double, triple, thrice, 
and quadruple. And if you take a look at this grid, I've laid it out for you step by step how to get from the phrase to the coefficient multiplier to the final algebraic expression. And what you care about is translating the phrase, column one, to the coefficient multiplier, column three. So I know, for example, that if I have triple something, I'm multiplying that something by three. If you follow this grid, you'll know the coefficient multipliers. Now there's one more that pops up sometimes, which is half. So there's two ways to do that. You can multiply by 0 0.5 or you can divide by 2. And last but not least for algebraic expressions, we have exponent phrases. When you see these phrases, you know that you should raise a variable or a number to a power. So let's look at the three phrases in the phrase column. We've got squared, cubed, and either raise or to the power of. So the first one is x squared. Squared is the second power. So you just do the superscript 2 to denote that we're raising x to the second power. Cubed is another way to say to the third power. So w cubed we raise to the power of 3. Now finally, we've got raise x to the fourth power. The fourth power really doesn't have a shorthand notation, so you know we're raising what? We raise something to a power. In this case, the something is the variable x, and the power is 4. So for the power, we always use the superscript notation. Now that's about it for algebraic expressions. I want to thank you for watching this video, and if you ever need help with algebraic expressions, you can type them right in the search engine on our site. Thanks again for watching, and I will see you in the next video.